Uh, this house has mahogany doors and windows and over the years they fade out and doesn't look like true mahogany anymore and we usually teak oil them but the teak oil has to be a colored teak oil to make them look rich like mahogany should. See the mahogany's all washed out. It just doesn't look rich. Uh, first we tape it with blue tape and because the blue tape could stay on glass the longest without leaving a residue then we put the green tape over the blue tape. The green tape will actually resist the teak oil that we're going to use, whereas the blue tape can't resist the teak oil because it's a, a different type of adhesive. The blue tape is the adhesive they use for doing lacquer. Stay, uh, when they uh, mask off lacquer work, they use green. But in this case, the green works for us because it holds back the stain from getting on the glass. The uh, teak oil I'm using is uh, Watco brand teak oil. I get it at Home Depot. That's the best price on it. Um, we went to a different place. It was like $16 a gallon. At Home Depot, I believe it's a, a lot less. I'm going to be using uh, Universal Tint Color, which I've have, have had for quite a while because you don't use too much of it over the, over the years. And I don't even think you can buy it anymore in California, but this is the last of my stock. And as you can tell, it's rusty because it's been around in the back of my truck for quite a while. But I'll be mixing it. My first step is to uh, pour all of the uh, teak oil into a five gallon bucket so that I have something to uh, mix up the tinting color into. Okay, I poured five quarts into this five gallon bucket and now I'm going to proceed to tint it to a rich mahogany color. First I'll add some raw sienna which is a really nice orangey uh, radish orange color. May not come across that like that in this video but that's what I'll use first. Next I'll be adding pure red which is the most expensive tint color you can buy outside of titanium dioxide but the red will give it that richness that I need to have see I've added the the uh, raw sienna and now I'm adding the red now I'm adding some uh, burnt umber which gives it depth gives the color some depth so right now it's not quite there yet but this will help okay I finished my color and I'm going to pour it from this five gallon bucket into the two gallon bucket so that I can get it into these cans, back into the cans using this funnel. Okay, I've finished my uh, tinting of the teak oil. I've got it all back into the little can so that it's convenient for us. Now when we need it, we just open it up like any other product and use it accordingly instead of having it all over in a big bucket.